Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Taurus star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore in this video I will try to explain uh, the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you well that will be a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings please check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, also as the, as the uh, winter is approaching or not the winter but the Christmas is approaching there are a, a Christmas specials that concerns the 20 and the 30 minutes uh, live readings and uh, literally the prices are abated and uh, you save 10 uh, 10 percent of uh, your money by purchasing those uh, those services so uh, that set aside, uh, we are going to the uh, tarot reading first for Tauruses and these are the cards, so the first card, the, the King of Cups is about the topic of your week followed by the Five of Cups which is the core of the situation Six of Pentacles here, what we got is the uh, challenges that are causing predicaments and the last one, Ten of Swords, is the guidance that you should um, or kind of like the guidance that Tarot is offering to you how to capitalize on those weeks, uh, on, on, on this week's uh, options available or opportunities or whatever you, you name it. So very interesting guys, this week is all about help. But the cards are not definitive. Are you the one receiving it or are you the one giving it? So this is what the card points. Now the first one, the King of uh, the King of Cups here in this position. This is your state. This is you in this week as a topic, and points to that you are to be a person who uh, does not um, does not expose to everybody emotionally, but only to those whom that whom you feel are worthy for your emotions. You can be um, the healer of someone's broken emotional state. You can be the wise counselor and advisor to someone who is very confused of their situations, like for example, a tarot reader, you know, uh, or an astrologer, or just a psychotherapist, or just a, a good friend who is giving a sound advice out there. But the thing with the with the King of Cups is that you are doing that in a very, you are to do this in a very detached way, in a sense of that uh, you are going to look at the situation completely objectively and give your final verdict, like final judgment of what needs to be done, how things look uh, from outside, you know, look from the, uh, from the, um, from a peripheral point of view and uh, that will give a, a fresh, how can I place it, Let, let's say a, a a fresh view over the over the situation to the person that is in need and most likely is to give them guidance so you are to give guidance this week into someone that is in need or a guidance is to be given to you should you find yourself in need throughout that week and this is due to the fact of the five of cups taking the core of the situation or why that guidance is needed and this card here points that something isn't happened that was supposed to happen for example a uh, lucrative project at work failed you know or a, a happy relationship turn out to be a very painful one as some old wounds have been brought into um, into the light for example uh, you have done something in the past that deeply hurt your partner but they kept it into a silent treatment until this very moment for no reason you know and now they're really shoving it into your face uh, 
making you feeling very bad for that you hurt them back in the past while back in the past they didn't say anything about it and etc etc it is basically someone either you or someone very close to you is gonna need a, a help and you are to be either the helping hand or you are to receive help so <clears throat> This week it seems that it is all about supporting each other and uh, again should you be the one needing air support, air support is going to come around and vice versa. But the thing with with these couple of cards here is, is that either, even though something screwed up very badly recently you know and things didn't turn out very well in one or another re uh, or, uh, or another field for one or another reason this should not be a prerequisite for either you or the one who needs help you know to give up on everything regarding this specific undertaking but again for example uh, if your relationship is so painful that doesn't mean that it's not going to traverse and go back into normal or if this isn't even if it is about breaking up with your current relationship, you know, because the Five of Cups could signify that your relationship suddenly ended recently, for example. That doesn't mean that you are not going to have even a, a better one in the future. The whole point here is, is that, yeah, you know, some losses came around recently, either for you or for someone very close to you that you're feeling bad for them, but this is not something that should break your spirit. Right. As a matter of fact, uh, this is just a partial loss, something that either you or that person needed to experience, and it it was a, a test of personal sovereignty, of personal self-respect. This is the kind of blow that you pick yourself up together, you know, kind of uh, scrub the dust from yourself and move on even stronger. Now the predicaments that we do have throughout this week for you Tauruses are a completely different subject. Maybe they are related in case you are the one who, well even if you are the one who gives help again they could be related because the Six of Pentacles points that you are to have difficulties uh, synergizing the contradicting factors in your life either career-wise or relationship-wise or maybe in between both, you know, to be able to kind of balance in between your career and your relationship. Maybe because you are to be occupied way too much with this emotional state of either receiving and giving help. And it will be the last thing uh, that you are going to prioritize here is to cope with the daily routine. Just so you know that uh, should you neglect completely those contradicting factors in your life, like the difficulties in between your career and your relationship, difficulties in one project where you have to please those that are involved and etc. etc. There are some issues, there are some problems that are currently in, uh, in play which you are, will be unable to resolve throughout this week. And, uh, um, but should you be able to uh, synergize the contradictive, uh, um, um, the contradictive circumstances um, here throughout the week, then I, uh, I quite of a, how can I place it, really, creative breakthrough. It is what awaits you. A lot of problems are to be solved, or and if this is a about relationship here, you know, overcoming the uh, the loss and combining the contradictive um, circumstances in between you and your partner, a lot of thriving it is what is going to take place. Again, these are predicaments that can and should be overcome. And the last card that we do have, this is the Ten of Swords. Typical follow-up of uh, these three cards before that, the Ten of Swords points drawing the line and uh, kind of retrospecting uh, why you came to that specific place uh, and to that specific point of the uh, of the undertaking you know or why your friend did that or even this if this is a, about a uh, very important person next to you you know someone that you care too much about and uh, you have to give your helping hand to them so they can reach solace. The Ten of Swords could as well represent that you are to learn from their situation not to make the same mistake in your life when 
your life bring you to the verge of a similar circumstances. So the Ten of Swords here plays a, a very important and a vital and a very positive role. Uh, and uh, usually I get those questions, you know, Rad, can you explain uh, Ten of Swords in a positive light? Well, this is the positive life a light of a ten of swords, drawing the line, making a retrospection, extracting the facts needed that led to this poignant situation and learning your lesson determined not to repeat back the same mistake that was done either by you or by someone else <clears throat> moving on forward, which is to inevitably initiate a, a dawn of a new era in either your life or the life to those that are close to you. So that was the tarot reading for the upcoming week. Now let me shuffle uh, the Lenormand cards and we are to see what they're going to show up for you, Taurus. They are to show a uh, event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. So let's cut. Let's see what we got. Now the first card, this is going to be uh, the anchor. And the anchor stands for longevity, it stands for stability, it stands for hope as well, and security. Then the next one, this is to be uh, the garden. The garden stands for socializing, social circles, uh, social gathering as well, everything that can be associated with the word social. And then the last one, this is going to be uh, the woman. <clears throat> the woman stands for a, a woman. <laughs> And also in a more figurative expression, it stands for intuition, it stands for feminine energy, and as well it stands for gentle. But what we do have here is a, a support in the social circle you are in that a woman is involved. Again, not clearly pointing should you, if we do have a, a man here, the gentleman, then it, it, again, it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be definitive. But yeah, it's someone, either you or this woman in your social circle are to receive help from each other, which are to make them feel way more secure and give them hope for the future, something to look forward to, you know, and is going to basically liberate them and save them from a state of despondency that they are finding themselves at this very moment. Very Thai uh, connection here with the tarot cards apart from the Tree of Pentacles, which is a, a totally different subject that relates to the daily routine of one's life. So that being said, Taurus says this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for Taurus' star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, um, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.